From Montgomery, it's Tolly Carr along with B.J. Jones. Alcorn State well on his way to a revenge victory, we'll call it, against Alabama State. And, B.J., this has been a, a, uh, a win that's been all day in the making. We waited out lightning and rain for four hours. It was supposed to kick off at 2 Central Time, kicked off at 6 Central Time instead. And it wasn't long before Alcorn uh, made its statement on this game. And it really started with the first turnover of the game, one that I'm sure Alabama State wished they could have back. You had that feeling as soon as it occurred. I mean, Alabama State looked like they had momentum going. It looked like, you know, the offense was moving, and then, bam, turnover. We, we shot it from the all-22 kind of eye in the sky. I know on that first interception, Alabama State held the ball, held the ball. Now, I don't know as much about football as you do, but – it seems like one that you just want to kind of throw away at that point. I mean, at that, at that point, the quarterback has to throw the ball away. Throw the ball away, live to play another down. Uh, at that point, he scrambled. He didn't make an athletic play, got outside of the pocket, released the ball, but he released it into traffic. And when you do that, bad things happen. Now, defensively, you noticed something that Alcorn State was doing early in the game. Yes. In the first half, Not Alabama North State North had North exactly – zero five yards, yards rush. Five the what Alcorn was doing, they were shifting their defensive line to the strong side of the formation. Number six. And lo and behold, Alabama Jet. State ran to the strong side of the formation. So, I mean, it was just pretty simple just to stop the run. I, I noticed that. I was like, I can't be seeing that right. They actually shifted everyone to the strong side of the formation. And Alabama State never countered and never went you know, opposite side of the formation. So, that was a uh, great, great scouting by the Alcorn State defense staff. One thing I've noticed about Alcorn State, whenever I've seen them play, it's a dual threat offense. They can hurt you not only with the pass, but they've always had the knack uh, to have a quarterback that can scramble. We saw that in the first quarter, and we're not even talking about Noah Johnson. Felix Hart. Felix, Felix, Felix. I know we talked about Noah Johnson all summer. Uh, the SWAC, you know, offensive player of the year, preseason offensive player of the year. But it's been Felix Harper. He's come, come in. He's done well. He is a threat with his arm more so than Noah Johnson, and he's That's sneaky athletic. So Felix Harper has opened up facets of this Alcorn offense, especially in the past that we haven't seen in the past. As expected, man. You know, he, he's been doing it for the last couple of weeks, you know, uh, coming in behind Noah and taking the spot there and, and just filling in. Um, as a backup, man, you know, I always talk about the next man up and did a great job preparing himself through the course of the time uh, he was backing Noah up. But, you know, that's, that's, that's come with the territory. You know, one guy get hurt and next guy got to step up and play. And I think Felix is doing an outstanding job of, of playing that position right now. Uh, this game was over at halftime, so much so that the band left. Uh, they had seen enough and they had been here uh, long enough. Uh, Alabama State managed to put a touchdown on the board in the third quarter, but uh, driving again, a fourth and goal, uh, maybe go for the kick. Instead, they go for it. Uh, another crucial fourth down. Uh, Alcorn State really stepped up defensively. Uh, we talked a lot about their offense, but defensively, when they needed to stop, they got it. They got it. Solomon Muhammad, Birmingham, Alabama native, coming back home to Alabama senior year. Two interceptions from his linebacker position. He's been all over the field. Norris, the ball that carrier. defense from Alcorn is for real. Um, Alabama State has been able to move the football, seven, do a lot of things, not tonight. That Alcorn defense has made a statement tonight. What's next? Uh, what's the most exciting matchup as, as we get into October that now you're – what's the next challenge that you see on tap for Alcorn? Um, if Southern can get past Prairie View, it's going to be on October 26th. The Jaguars coming back to the reservation. You remember the atmosphere from the SWAT title game? It will be just like that on the 26th. If Southern comes back number one in the West, and Alcorn can hold on as being the number one team in the East. We talk about it with our guys through the course of the week. This was a big game for us. You know, all the games are big, but this was one that, that we really need to win. And I thought they responded well to it, you know. And so, you know, we take one at a time, you know. Uh, we got two weeks uh, to pair up, get ready for a good Savannah State football team coming in next week. And then we have an opening. Thank God for that opening because we need it uh, before we play Southern. Well, it just went final here as we were talking about the game. Your final score is Alcorn State final 35. Score, Alcorn State 35. He's telling you right now. Alabama State 7. Alabama State State 7. Alabama State in State Montgomery, State I'm Tolly Carr. He's B.J. Jones. Thanks for hanging out with us here at HBCU Game Day.